All right. I love how people would still say, how's videotaping going? Like, we're still back in the 90s. Anyways, today we're actually filming something for Al Jazeera. And then we'll get back to the tutorial. I think we're going to do Twixter today. You're damn right, Arthur, we're doing Twixter today. For those of you who don't know, Twixter is a software that can create and fake slow motion. Now, if you saw yesterday's video, you would notice that we did it with optical flow. Now you're probably thinking, why would I pay for a software when you just showed me yesterday that I could do it for free? Well, Twixter is supposedly much smoother than optical flow. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison and you can see for yourself. And see if Twixter is worth it for you. Alright, we're about to start a tutorial about getting started with Twixter. So if you weren't impressed with that comparison, then you could watch yesterday's video on optical flow. The reason I'm making a tutorial on getting started with Twixter is because the tutorial on the website isn't really that clear, and the few tutorials I found online weren't that great either. So I figured, why not help out and make a tutorial for you guys, and that would be my tutorial of the day. Once you download a Twixter, Twixter should be under effects. And one of the biggest problems on getting started is that when you apply Twixter and you change the speed to let's say 50 or 20%, you look at the clip and the clip stays the same size. It does not expand. So therefore you're left with only beginning of the clip and you're not really seeing what you wanna see. That's the first problem. The second problem is that the clip doesn't really work well if it's at a different native frame rate than the sequence. So if you're editing on a 20 frames per second timeline and your clip is 120 FPS or 60 FPS, then you actually want to nest it. Let's go ahead and slow it down normally on your computer before you nest it. So if it's 120 frames per second, slow it down to 20%. Now nest it. Once you got that step done, now it's time to approach problem number one. How do we make this clip longer than it actually is? So what you could do is you could create a new sequence, probably 1080, 24 frames per second, and you drag your nested clip into that sequence. Now just put a bunch of random footage right after that and take that sequence and drag it onto your main timeline. The Twixter effect should work perfectly. One thing to watch out for is that if you want to create another slow-mo clip with Twixter, you got to create a brand new sequence. If you edit a pre-existing nested sequence or another pre-existing sequence that you used earlier, then that will screw with the previous slow-mo clip. All right, that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple once you get used to it, but figuring that out could be a little bit complicated. I hope I just made your day a little bit easier, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day seven of the Teach to Learn Challenge.